Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Uh, we had some bad winds there for this last week, but then today and tomorrow it drops below 10. So we're gonna take advantage of it. Beautiful out here, no clouds, just full sun. Uh, plan of attack is I'm gonna go out to the reef, anchor up, do some chum and yellow tailing basically, and then uh, maybe throw on some bigger baits for some cruising pelagics since those are around. But first I gotta stop off at the old bait shop here, try to get some uh, dead baits, which are gonna be either pilchards or glass minnows, and then we can head on out. So that's the plan. Oh yeah, check this out. Woo! But we'll talk about that later. Well, I found some jumbo pilchards, so let's throw the net on them. Where'd they go? I think they're right inside here. Yep, got got some jiggles. Again, this would probably be better off with the seven foot net, but that's what we're looking for. Those are nice, good chunker ones. Nice, good chunker ones. All right, they're back, so let's do it again. Ooh, that spooked them. Oh, those mullet. Do I want mullet? No, I don't want any mullet. Yeah, this is the, uh, these are the schools I was waiting for. Yeah, look at that, that's a nice one. Ooh, I think we are good to go. I might just keep these up front here. These will be my cut bait. Damn, beautiful. Beautiful. Those are the money ones. Happy days. All right, we're good there. I'm gonna use those for cut bait. I've got those guys there for some live bait. Man, I am set. So let's go take a run out. All right, we are out here on the secondary bar, the secondary reef. Uh, just kind of on this mid edge before it starts going to the deeper. We're in 82 feet of water there. Uh, just to maybe 20 feet over, it's about 70 feet. So I'm kind of on a slope. Uh, I'm gonna put the chum bag out, start uh, getting things worked up. A lot of boats out here. Happy to see a big boat out there flying a kite. So that makes me think that uh, there are bigger plagics around. It's more big boats. So looks like the place to be, but usually is. So let's get set up. Well, it's looking like we've got wind against the tide. Just throwing some chunks out. And very little current. It's just barely drifting straight down, so. I don't know. I'll be okay for live baits, but definitely might be hurting it for the yellowtails. At least it's going kind of at an angle. So it's not going straight up the anchor line. So I'll move the chum bag to this side. And it looks like it's flown out that way. So that's not bad. We're gonna be going over to the deep side. So yeah, like putting some baits out. Got four rigs today. Got the Ultralight Esky Cabo 40. Uh, I had a uh, viewer send me two new Cabo 40s. So thank you very much. He didn't like me having big Cabo, medium Cabo, small Cabo, pin conflict. <laughs> so he sent me uh, two combo, uh, Cabo 40s. So I put uh, my 15 pound Andy's Pink on it. So this will be my Yellowtail Snapper setup. And I've got the Yellowtail Snapper Jig in the pink. Gotta match the outfit, it's all that matters. Then I've got the heavy Esky with a, set up with a double uh, trebles with a stinger. So that'll be a top water bait, get a big blue runner. Oops. 
Then I've got my, basically my vertical jigging rod. I've got a two ounce weight on it for now, so that'll be the bottom. And I've got my medium Esky with a uh, 4,000 Cabo. I've got the four inch paddle tail, but I think I'll be putting on wire, small thin wire, and then a small bait hook, and uh, just having a uh, live pitcher, pilcher just swimming around out there. So that's my setups for today. Uh, for the yellow tail setup, I'm just gonna be chunking off pieces, and then using a chunk on the jig head. Like that, matches the hatch. That's the 1 16th ounce, because these baits are just going straight down to the bottom, it looks like, there's no current at all. So, uh, we'll just see if there's anything around. All right, I think we got a bite. There we go. Get him up, get him up, get him up. <laughs> oh, damn it. What the hell happened there? Cut me off. A little bit too strong for my light setup. <laughs> All right, time to go again. There we go. Oh, get him up, get him up before he sticks me in the ground. <laughs> Turning my kayak. I see you down there. What do we got? Looks like a yellowtail. Looks like what we're looking for. Oh, nice. That's what we want. Bam. Look at that. Puked all over me. All the chum has been eating. You gads. All right, relax. Target species acquired. Boom. Match the old shirt. <laughs> Ow, bit me. Perfect sun alignment, beautiful shirt. Beautiful yellow tail. Just perfect. You'll tell snapper jig. All right, since we got some time waiting for the chum to build up there, let's talk about the new all about the bait yellowtail snapper drift jig shirt. Now this is another Jeff the designer creation. Uh, since we're using the new Cool Max fabric and the high tech dye sublimation process, it gives them a lot more opportunities to create new photo quality style images on these shirts. So as you can see here, just like that school of yellowtails there. Um, and also I wanted to focus on a couple of the, the core parameters of the All About the Bait store, which is something related to the Florida Keys and can't beat the yellowtail snapper. This is our second yellowtail snapper design. Um, it's the, the, the prototypical Florida Keys fish basically is what it is so that's why i'm featuring it so much and second it's featuring the uh all about the bait yellowtail snapper drift jig all right so it's kind of a product related shirt and i'm going to kind of tie it in with the actual jigs as well but uh you can check that out there see if i can get the back here without falling in that's the back and got the all about the bait company info on the side there now the pricing on this is going to be again just like all the other dye sublimation process shirts uh, the regular price is 35 uh, when I do a regular sale I'm gonna take them down to 30 but for these introductory uh, rollouts I'm gonna knock them down to 25 but wait there's more okay since this I'm gonna call this kind of a product related shirt since it's featuring my Yeltel snapper drift jigs I'm gonna give you 
some yellow tail snapper drift jigs when you buy this shirt. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a, um, a little 10 pack, combo pack. Uh, I'll have the three different sizes, three of each and then one miscellaneous one. And I'll throw that in with the shirts. So anyways, pick them up now at www.allaboutthebait.com. But wait, there's more. Not only do you get the Y'all About the Bait Yellow Tail Snapper Drift Jig shirt for $25 plus free shipping, you also get a baggie of, oops, a 10 pack baggie of Yellow Tail Snapper Drift Jigs for $25, free delivery, no taxes, unless you live in Florida, then you gotta pay taxes. But wait, there's more. Since I sold out of the Tarpon Wraparound Pinfish All About the Bait original in the Cool Max, uh, before Christmas time, I sold, I think, three or four sizes sold out. I'm gonna run these also on special for $25 till the end of February. Bam! Free delivery as well. No, you don't get the baggies, but you get a good deal if you want that shirt. But wait, there's more! We are redesigning the All About the Bait Pinfish Bait Skin. Seen that one there, ba bam ba bam And since I've got a new design coming, I'm gonna be getting rid of these originals, and I'm gonna sell these for $20. Free delivery, bam! While they last, once they're gone, those are gone, and I'll have the new ones replacing them. All right, but wait, there's more. <laughs> For the rest of the month of February, buy any baseball cap, pick out any face mask, go to checkout, type in free mask Feb, all one word, free mask Feb, Feb for February, F-E-B, okay? And I'll deduct the cost of the mask. So you guys basically, any baseball cap, any mask, and you get that mask for free. So back to fishing. All right. Got one on there. There we go. Uh, uh, get him up. Ah! Uh, oh. She. What happened there? Pulled my kayak around. It cut me off. I might cut off that 12 pound leader that I'm using. Yeah, it cut me off. Dang it. All right, I caught my yellow tail, so I'm gonna go with a live pilchard on the bottom. Marking some stuff there. So we shall see what it is. There we go. Up. Up. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, got our mackerel. Little sea rose. Figured you guys would be around. On the bottom, not up top. Stop. Cut me. Ooh. There he goes. On the bottom. And I think we're on. I think we're on. I think we're on. Pilchards on the bottom seems to be the ticket. Yep, more mackerels. And a little nicer. Easy, I'm gonna let you go.
Alrighty. Mackerel's on the bottom. I think something's got it. There we go. Get up. What have we got here? Not a shark, not a zero. Ah, mutton. Nothing but a mutton. Fat mutton. He's been eating all my baits. Ah, nice pretty mutton there. Ate the pilchard. <laughs> well, if I can get the hook out, this guy's going back. Oh, guess he's ready to go. All right, Mutton. I think it's time for a new spot. All right, we moved in. Uh, I'm right at 42 feet. Uh, just marked some uh, good bottom there, a little bit of fish there. Uh, so we're all set up, anchored, got the chum going again. Uh, over there was Goke. I just there's just so many mackerel zeros, small ones, killing all my pilchards. And then if I didn't have wire on it, they would just take the hook. So uh, just too much of a hassle. But yeah, I got a good yellow tails. I got uh, the zeros, and I got a good mutton. So but we're gonna see if we can get a little bit more action right along the inside of the uh, right at the edge of the reef. And uh, yeah, see what we can do. Some schools have moved in. So I think we're gonna get a lot of action here. Just that chum going right up that stupid anchor line. All right, there we go. I think we got some snappers in the mix here. Oh, no, stupid. Ah, anchor line. No, no, uh, uh, uh. That is why I hate the chum up the anchor line. Stop. There he goes. There we go. There we go. Can you tell which one's real? <laughs> and using the pink. Bam. Oh, oh God. No. No. Stupid shark. I think it was a shark. Ah, man, she couldn't get the rod out. Ah, action time. All right, I'm gonna call it. It's a bit early, sun's still up pretty high, but uh, it's kind of a waste here with that chum going right up the anchor line. Plus I wanna get home, edit this video, and get ready for tomorrow. The thing I really wanted to do would be, was to drift live bait. It was perfect for it, wind against current, a little bit of chop to it, and then I can cover a lot of water. Uh, chumming today was probably not the best because of that reversed wind versus current, and then chum going right up the chum line, and can't really do too much with that. But I got a few yellow tails, which I wanted to do, feature the shirt. So I think we're gonna head on in and uh, get ready for tomorrow. So happy the big pilchards are in. That's what I've been waiting for a long time, so I can start doing the, uh, drift the uh, reef edge with live pilchard so that will be our tomorrow's plan hopefully so anyways thanks for watching and i'll see you next video www.allaboutthebait.com 
Get them while you can. They're going to move fast. Bye.